Hey everyone, carnage this week in London, at least that's what a lot of Arsenal fans will be saying down the pub after the sacking of their manager Unai Emery after 18 months of abysmal managerial malaise that made Leanne Wood look like Queen Victoria. David Cameron hasn't made a comment on that story, though it's probably because he can't remember if Arsenal are one of the teams that he claims to support or not. But of course the big story this week was the different kind of Arsenal, the kind that the armed police carry on them. This was of course the second London Bridge attack in two years in which two members of the public were killed, three more injured, the terrorist himself was shot dead, and thousands of Southern Rail commuters heading towards London Bridge Station had to suffer delays and inhumane conditions, although that was later reported to be completely unconnected with the attack, and a company spokesperson later said that commuters affected by the delays to the service would be compensated by means of a price hike in the new year. It's at this point, of course, that anyone near a television camera started making the usual platitudes and comments about, quote, community engagement and such like. The public can normally, of course, be relied upon to be a bit more blunt in their vox pops. One called him a complete idiot, which is a bit of a relief, frankly, because for a while it looked like he had a suicide vest on, and it's obviously far better that he's a complete idiot than one where bits of him are missing, floating down towards the Thames estuary. As I said, it will be interesting to see how the leaders make the issue about themselves. Over the last two weeks of the campaign, Boris will no doubt make nods to promised security funding. The Lib Dems will blame the Islamic attack on the white working class. The SNP will complain that the media's relentless focus on London is purposely designed to draw attention away from Scottish issues. And Jeremy Corbyn will likely spend the rest of the campaign refusing to confirm or deny whether he would lay a wreath at the site of the bridge where the peaceful terrorist ultimately lost his life. Oh well. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.